Hi, my name is Jess and I'm a Royal Air Force caterer. My job as a caterer um, involves um, working in an officer's mess or a sergeant's mess, uh, more front of house, working on reception or the bar, also accommodation. Um, we also have jobs like VIP, which is working in the station commander's residence on unit. Um, we can branch off and go flying and go air steward. My um, stepdad and my real dad are both army background, so it was, it was a go join the RAF, <laughs> so I did. <laughs> As a kid in the forces background, you are constantly moving around with the army. It was every two years, so one minute you were in Germany, then you were in Ireland, back in the UK. So it was, it was constant on the go, so you get to know people. So I do think that that helps as well, because with me being in the RAF, you kind of just get on with it and you get to know people and get chatting and you're easy, it's easier to get on with people because you've had that background. <laughs> I wanted to be an air, stu an air stewardess, um, so I went into the AFCO and asked to become something to do with catering um, towards the air steward rank. And uh, they said we had to go into the, the catering side of it for 18 months into the mess. So you'd go on to do that, and then you can go fly and apply for flying. But I kind of enjoyed the mess side of it, so I stayed. To be an air stewardess on Civilian Street, you have to be 21. Well, I joined the RAF when I was 16, so I left school, joined straight up. So then you can go and do it that way. So 18 months' time, I'd be 18. So For a big function, it's not just a day thing. It's, it's a couple of days, maybe a week-long preparation. Um, we then have, you have to get the numbers of how many people are going to be sitting. Um, then obviously the person who's maitre d' of the night will then take control, write a brief, um, arrange the staff. Um, there's then obviously all the back prep, all the silver equipment and all the crockery and cuttery all has to be cleaned. And Then it's choosing the wine through the bar and cleaning the glasses. And Then on the, at the actual day of the function, um, everyone like mucks in together and we all lay up the dining room and getting the flowers out and the trophies and the candelabras. So it's a long day, it's starting from first thing in the morning and then we usually have a little break in the afternoon when it's all done and it's, it's been okayed by the mess manager. And then we're back in at night to silver serve and go, go ahead with the function. This is my white jacket, we all wear them on dining and nights through meal services, preparation for food and the sandwich bar and things like that. Um, they are really smart when all the girls are wearing them and we're all lined up properly. It's really nice to see. Prince Philip <laughs> was there last year. We had a, he came and had a look around the, the station and we actually still served him a dinner part, uh, at a dinner. So that was quite good. You kind of feel proud because he's there and that you're serving him. So you've got, you, you've got this, something to tell somebody about it. But um, it is very nervous because obviously you want everything to go perfect and you don't you want him to go away and kind of sneakily think well that's quite good actually nice food and good service it's a, it's very long hours um but i guess that's it that's the only worst bits i can think of the best bits about my job i think is when you've laid up a dining room and how good it looks you might have loads of mistakes going on in the background into the kitchen, but the diners are all sat there and they're really enjoying themselves. And when you're make your dream for the night and someone comes up to you and shakes your hand and tells you how, how good their night was and it was a brilliant meal, and so that's, it is really good, it's satisfying.